Driving Tampa Bay forward now, neighbors tell us a dangerous intersection is putting drivers, pedestrians, and cyclists at risk. That intersection, it's in Brandon on Lumsden Road, just east of I-75. AB Section News reporter Chad Mills took their concerns to Hillsborough County and found out change could be coming soon. That's right, the county hopes to break ground this year on improvements to this intersection behind me. Neighbors out here tell me that work long overdue. At 85 years old, Charlotte Gefke has been around long enough to see her corner of Brandon transform. They have been here 24 years. The traffic has tripled. Like I say, I think half the state of New York has moved down here. And she says that's meant more traffic on this intersection near her home where Lumsden Road meets two neighborhood streets, Heather Lakes Boulevard and Kensington Ridge Boulevard. I've seen near misses frequently because you got coming from every direction, you know, it's, it's treacherous. Here's the problem. The intersection has no traffic light, so cars leaving the neighborhoods like Gefke's often have to dart out quickly to make left turns or merge onto Lumsden, the busier, faster road. I've actually seen accidents there myself. Michelle Baker emailed our driving Tampa Bay Ford tip line about the intersection. Her pitch to Hillsborough County put a traffic light here. When we took that idea to the county, we found out that is in the works. Online records show construction was scheduled to start in 2020, but the county says it's now scheduled to start in September this year. And neighbors who brave this daily hope that will be the case. According to online records, it'll cost north of $3 million to upgrade this intersection behind me. Live in Brandon, Chad Mills, ABC Action News. Chad, thank you. And this tip came from our Driving Tampa Bay for tip line, and we need more tips like this to know what you want us to cover, hopefully help you out with. If you have a Driving Tampa Bay Forward story idea or a tip, go ahead and give us a call. That number is on your screen, or you can email us at driving at WFTS.com.